Hi Scorpios, welcome back to my channel. This is Rogue Tarot. Getting right into your August monthly love reading. Let's see what comes out for you in regards to love for my Scorpios. We have the Knight of Swords. So there's fast movement that is trying to come in, but it's something that has been planned for a long time that's being taken into action here. You or this other person finally has the strength to come forward here or move on and choose a different path. Because the Two of Cups is here. You could have gone through a breakup. You're going to go through a breakup in the month of August that you have seen coming. You know, um, it's going to push you to move on from a relationship versus someone from your past with the Six of Cups in reverse trying to come forward. You know, as you walk away completely, look at this person trying to come forward and stop you here, you know, facing the other direction, Scorpio. So this person is definitely thinking about things, how they kind of took advantage of the situation with the Six of Pentacles in reverse. We have the Strength and the Nine of Cups. You have um, realized that your wish fulfillment is love within yourself and you're going out drinking a lot for the month of August. Um, this is also could be this person, this Leo energy that is trying to come forward. They're going to ask you out to drink, go to your favorite bar, the spot that you hang out with hang out with them at for the month of august we do have the nine of swords someone is really depressed over a connection here over things that just didn't work out it definitely could be a long-term commitment could have broken a lease or move out of an apartment doesn't have to be but something someone definitely wants to try to make things right let's see what else comes out for my scorpios for the month of august all right past life connection you have known each other before yeah and i feel like the love the feelings are still there for each other yeah true love this is the romance of the lifetime you feel this same connection that i'm feeling but the red flags are there right maybe this person does go out and drink a lot you know this was this is what caused separation or is about to cause a separation you know um this person could have scorpio in their chart and they could be a leo like their birthday is coming up you know, and they just want to let bygones be bygones because they know that you're the one here. So this is something that you know this is a soulmate connection with. We have this could be the one true love and past life relationship. But again, you don't want to go all in here, um, Scorpios, unless this person is willing to put in the work, right? So you're like, uh, I kind of want to move on, but there's an attachment to you that I can't seem to let go, right? Nine of Swords and the Four of Swords in reverse with the Queen of Swords. There you are. When the Queen of Swords comes out, you know, you've been through the ring of hair. You've been through it with this person. It's like an ongoing cycle that never stops, right? So you finally have your guard up. You, you are setting boundaries this month. You know, you could be seeing butterflies a lot or black crows <clears throat> this month or recently here. You know, it's getting you, pushing you to be to be able to speak up on what you want here. That's why I had to like kind of clear my throat. You know, you're getting these downloads and messages where you're not taking the BS anymore. So clarify the Six of Swords, the Magician in reverse, the the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, and the Eight of Cups kind of wanted to come out sideways. So this person or you, you're hesitating to completely walk away. You know, you're tired of them just not stepping up to the plate here. You want it. A lot of you want a deeper level of commitment. They kind of give that to you, you know, the next step, marriage, house, moving in together, things like that. And things just wasn't manifesting. Some of you could have been together as long, long as six years, you know, and you're just tired of it this month. You're officially letting go. Turn about the four stars because it's like you're in a thinking mode, like, do I really want to do this, right? Hermit mode, Virgo energy here. Strong Capricorn energy, Taurus as well, or sign showing up across the board. This earth sign, if you're dealing with one, their pride and ego is in the way. They let money, um, material things get in the way of you two, and they're suffering for that. This was what caused that ending. There's still love for you. There are emotions here with the death card, Scorpios. There's your energy. There's that Leo energy that I keep picking up <laughs> with the sun card in reverse. They're completely unhappy. You completely build up a law here as this queen of swords energy, Scorpios. And they're in this three of pentacles energy trying to figure out how to fix it. You're looking directly down at this three of pentacles while filling the five of pentacles, right? Abandoned, left out in the cold. 
the six of pentacles in reverse they're kind of getting their karma at the moment right you know you took a risk you're moving on you're trying to figure out what you want in your love life hanging out with friends going out just not really thinking about love and as you're doing this the will is turning for you right this person is watching you you feel like um there's a lot of things that you say you wish you can take back for some of you scorpios don't do that you know but what's said in a moment was said in a moment a lot of things, um, dealing with the cancer, you could have had past history with them off and on for a while, grew up together or had mutual friends um, or co-workers here or something like that. There's travel trying to come forward. I feel like you'll give them a chance, Scorpios, if they try to make it right, right? If they work hard and really try to, you know, turn this nine of cups upside down, you'll give them a chance. If they really show that, you know, they've learned their lessons here. But I feel like the way these cards just came out in reverse, <laughs> you're done with it. They, You gave them so many chances. I feel like these 10 cups, you know, you gave them all these chances and they completely blew it. You gave them the disability, love that they wanted. You went out, drank a lot, had a lot of fun with this person. But they just couldn't get it together. You know, you wanted more than just drinking and going out and having fun. So you're seeing a victory over this for the month of April. I mean, April. Oh, my God. <laughs> Where did I get April from, guys? Someone's dealing with an Aries. I think I did Aries earlier. I cannot remember. But someone's going to be introduced to their true love. It's going to be a past life um, connection here. Things are going to balance out with the, for you with the Temperance card. Your next love interest or person that you're talking to could be a Sagittarius. This is definitely um, a blessing from the universe, you know. We have the Seven of Wands in reverse with the Three of Swords. It's going to be a very healing month for you. Um, you might be all over the place going out, having fun. And you know what? That's okay. It's August. It's summer. Do what you got to do. But don't hold back this month is what I'm saying, Scorpios. Have fun. Anything else for my Scorpios? Spirits tell me to pour this deck. Photograph. Looking at your photos. Missing you. Nostalgia. Make new memories. Yeah, for the month of August. Make new memories. And this person is going to keep missing you. The sword and the rose, clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force, honor, protection, power. You know what? I think I said April because it's August, like the two A's. Yeah, I'm going to just act like I did embarrass myself in front of hundreds of people. So we, <laughs> we have separation. Sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure future. Yeah, this was the energy that I was getting, like this sad-ass energy over here, Scorpio's like... This yearning, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, all of that is in this. Looking at your photographs, I mean, they're in the clarity that they want to try to make, try to make this work here. I feel like my voice, oh, it's going like in and out. And I drank a lot of water before I started this reading, but this could just be this person's energy, you know, this back and forth. I feel like they are going to come forward, though, because they just can't seem to start a new cycle without you. They can't move on without getting, you know, an answer from you. Judgment heart, right? Karma is here. Karma has came around. Now they want to come forward wanting a new beginning. Look at all this baggage they're coming forward with. All the answers that you are going to want to ask here, Scorpios. They know all of this, which is why they can't start a new beginning until they address this, right? Judgment is here. Will of Fortune is coming in. King of Wands energy, they're angry at themselves for taking so long to come forward because they were so nervous about the past here. We have the Ace of Swords. Again, King of Cups energy. Could be dealing with an um, Fire Sign, Aries, Seal, Sagittarius, another Water Sign. I feel like this is your energy. You were always a bigger person when it came to emotions here if you're dealing with a Gemini or same Water Sign. As you, you're tired of carrying that load. You're like, no, I'm done. I gave you so many chances here, you know? You were so cold to me, I, I I just, you had your chance and you blew it, right? I'm going to move on from this. Too selfish for me, for some of you here, Scorpios. So anything else? We have when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you, but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you're, you love. Yeah, it's kind of like, you know, this queen of swords energy. You're like, I'm tired. You know, when the queen and king of swords shows up like this, especially with judgment here, this could be a karmic soulmate that you're letting go here. Starting a new beginning here. Cause, and it's, it's a lot of arguing when the queen and king of swords shows up as well. We have power, yep. You instinctively know what is right for you. And you have the power to say no or walk away at any time. 
Scorpio. That's exactly what I'm getting at. We have life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. So go with the flow, Scorpios. You will be surprised where it leads. And like I said, go out. Be in this nine of cups energy. Nurture the bonds of friendship within your, your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. You will get this clarity and karma will turn around for you. This is what you're going to be hit with. That ten of cups to four, taking a leap of faith and getting this new start. But it's all in the choices that, you know, you want to make, Harry. And I feel like you are going to make those right choices, Scorpios, all right? I'm going to leave it there, guys, and be patient with yourselves. See you next week.